To, uh, Kelling 2015. So, what have you got? Well, this is one of Alfa Astro's 10 inch deep field Richie Cretian scopes. Cretian, Cretian, Cretian. Cretian, yeah, Cretian. Answers on a postcard. <laughs> um, which is about nearly two days old. Can you uh, explain what's different between an RC and a a newt or a standard ref reflecting scope? Well the uh, the RC design is that uh, both the primary at the back and the secondary at the front are fixed systems. Uh, special uh, design of mirror, uh, same sort they're in the Hubble Space Telescope in fact, but this one's just a little bit smaller. Sorry. And the back end is therefore where the focuser is and this one has got a, a three inch feather touch focuser on it with all the bells and whistles, we can revolve the thing round as such. Lock it in. I've just got a, a zoom eyepiece on there at the moment, as I say, hopefully trying to get first light with that. Dual speed focuses, fine tune course focusing. Very smooth indeed. And what's its vital statistics? 38, 22, 24. In your dreams. <laughs> 250 millimeter diameter scope, so that'll be a two meter. two meter focal length on that. So yeah, um, hopefully get a few objects up and personal in this one if we can. Get a bit of visual done if we can, if it clears up. Otherwise, it's back in the obsey and stick a camera on it. So what's uh, what's special about the mirrors? Um, well, the design of the mirrors themselves make it so that uh, it's uh, certainly the, the, the nice flat field. They the probably get a good. Um, good images from this without any flat field uh, optics in there so they'll keep it uh, good and um, comb hopefully coma free as well I mean that's what the design is and in terms of uh, collimation I'm recognizing that you've only had it for two days <laughs> well yeah I mean R Richie Crichtons are a bit of a bit of a collimating freak for some people I mean I do have a Takahashi collimating telescope which goes in there there's a spot on the center spot on the on the secondary mirror which uh, aids in that, um, but other than that, the usual sort of collimation at the front, uh, as with a Newtonian. But at the back, there's a locking screw, which are the brass ones on these ones, and the big, big ones here are for for adjusting the primary mirror cell itself. So it should should be relatively pain-free in adjusting these. Once you've got it in your observatory, what are you going to have on the back of it? Um, I might try a bit of visual first, uh, just get used to it, but uh, again it will be my normal imaging rig which will be a Starlight Express SXV um, H16, SXVR H16, with a filter wheel, seven position filter wheel, two inch filters are in that, bar the filters. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what's going to be. Thank you very much Phil. DJ that was high There's a star William Optics FLT 110mm triplet um, Homemade hub for the wires As you can see it's never wire free uh, Coming down to the camera Attic 460EX mono uh, Beta LRGB filters in a quantum um, seven piece 1.25 built wheel. Beta! <laughs> uh, reducer, 0.8 reducer, uh, the Mark IV William Optics, uh, taking it down to f5.6. Uh, Lodestar as the guider, off axis guider, TS 9mm, all mounted on a EQ6. Uh, it does the work, this will just need clear skies to find out, won't we? Here you go, you can cut now. <laughs> Let the children lose 
this weekend. Next time. Okay, this weekend, um, EQ6 uh, connected to um, uh, EQ mod. So it'll be plumbed into the laptop fully controlled through a seven port USB with all the ports plumbed in. Uh, on the uh, hot end, we've got a um, AstroTech 111 uh, triplet uh, scope, which is 777 mil focal length, um, F7. Um, attached to that is the uh, focuser, autofocuser, so again, all controlled. Uh, via RASCOM by the um, computer. Camera wise, two extenders, there's no focal reducer in here, there's no field flattener um, and this is a um, SX uh, M25C, it's a uh, one shot colour uh, large chip format um, borrowed from our learned friend Chris Bailey and then uh, not set up at the moment but I'll be guiding using a Altair Astro uh, finder guider. It's currently set up as the finder but there's an extender that comes on the end and then I image with a DMK21 as the camera on the end of that. So that's my guiding setup and that's the main imaging scope using a one shot colour. Through that white light. White light, yeah. Going in there. Looking at these sunspots. Can you see them? Yeah, awesome. Plenty of them? There's a, there's a big cluster of about four, then there's a big cluster of three, a great big one in the just north of centre, and then a little one up towards the top right. So yeah, a good, a good selection. Is that a technical term for a sunspot, a little one? Yeah, a little one and a big one. <laughs> and a mega one. Do you, know, do you know what the active region numbers are? I have got a clue. <laughs> are you going to stick a camera in? Yes, I am, yeah. What, what, which camera are you going to try? I'll put in my uh, UHY5 L2. And try and see if I can capture white light solar, which I've never tried with this camera, so it works. Oh. I might need your help with fire capture. Did that, um, does that camera have a filter on the front? It's got a, a infrared filter, yes. Is that right, Simon? Switch on the TV, we may pick him up on channel two. Look out your window, I can see his light. If we can sparkle, he may land tonight. Don't tell your papa, or he'll get us locked up. <laughs> oh, brilliant. So don't forget to look us up online. Did you get any images then today? I don't know. I think I have. <laughs> oh, like that, is it? I can't see a thing. I'm sort of pointing it in the general direction of the sun and hit and record and open for the best. <laughs> what are you up to then, Rog? Uh, trying to do a fix of, like your new laptop. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Yeah, that's go that's going in now, is it? No. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I'm imaging using a QHY 5L2. Uh, oh, you got a junction box. I've got one out now, and I ain't got a junction box. Are like you? <laughs> Clear that? No, dark. Oh, you haven't got any. Sorry, you haven't got any. You've got flats. No. I oh, know, because no, you've no, got no. a calibrated flats, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. No darks. So, no darks. And if you had darks, you would do exactly the same thing again with your darks. Same you settings? Exactly the same settings. Rock and roll. So, process, pre processing, image calibration. It's not rock and roll, mate, because the next time you open that, them settings won't be the same.